Thought I'd get the singing out of the way straight away in this video. Uh, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Before we continue with the video, please click on the link that's appearing now and subscribe to Plumber Parts. We do videos every week. We do plumber disasters, photos and videos that you guys have sent in to us. And also we run the fantastic Find Your Plumber. If you're not on that, click on the link as well throughout the video. They're always there uh, and you'll be able to register with us there and get access to deals and all the stuff. All right, I don't have to explain it anymore. Get over there and just do it. It's only 50 quid, which is a bloody call out, isn't it? Let's face it, if you charge call out fee. Oh, baby. Anyway, right, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, everyone, to hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk, home of Find Your Plumber. Coffee, plumber's best friend, especially when we're standing in what used to be the most overrated boiler system in the world. Look at what this place used to look like about a week ago. Yep, I took this photo on my mobile phone, and as you can see, it's absolutely dreadful. If you've got a second, before we carry on, follow us on Snapchat. Brr. So guys, as you can see, the system that used to be in here was completely overrated. Basically, this place has 12 radiators on it and one hot water tank of about 200 litres. For that, the architect, who I imagine was paid on percentage here, so he's put a 70 kilowatt boiler in, right? 12 radiators, one tank, okay? 70 kilowatt boiler. A call-out fee for this boiler is 500 pounds before they even walk through the door, and a standard service charge is 1,000 pounds. In the top of the boiler, there were like relays and loads of stuff like that, and it was just totally overrated. Add to that, they also had a low loss header. Bear in mind, it's just 12 radiators and one tank. They had a low loss header. They didn't have two port valves or anything like that. They had just had two pumps drawn off the low loss header. Now, I realise we haven't done a video on low loss headers and we will definitely do one. In this install here, they were it wasn't needed. They didn't need to have a low loss header, but they're perfect if you've got multiple boilers heating up one heating system. So if you've got two, three, four, five boilers, that's when low loss headers come into their own. But we'll talk about that in another video. So let's have a quick look at that and then I'm going to tell you about how we're going to complete this job using the Hotton or Hotun or however you want to say it. So at the moment we've got a new Grant Vortex just gone in here. Anyway, so we've got flow coming out here into our pump. We've got our two port valve going up to the heating system. Uh, and then just round the corner here, we've got our flow. This goes round, for some reason this goes round and up through here, then we've got our bypass valve that goes back to the return, and then we've got our two port valve which is controlled by the stat on here and our Drayton My Genie that we've just installed up there. And also what we've done, we've updated the controls, they never had this sort of control, but if we look over here, just right over there like that, you'll see our My Genie um, stat just up there, and also the controller that talks through to the interwebs and all that. Just carrying on to say as well, the great advantage of us using a My Genie for this particular system is that the user can now have multiple accounts and multiple people remotely turn the heating system on and off from their phones or whatever. Now the great thing about that is, is that Diane, the lovely lady who takes bookings for this place, if they get a random booking, she can pop onto her phone and then put it in for that week. She can go, right, I want the heating to come on then because there's gonna be someone here. Say they cancel, but they ring up Bernie, who's another guy, and they, they can't get hold of Diane, they ring up Bernie. Bernie can go on and also on his app, see exactly what Diane's done and cancel it. I mean, it's just quality. I mean, they're over the moon with this. They're so happy that they can do their booking system properly. And really, it's that thing up there, the Drayton My Genie, wish to, that's uh, made that possible. So thanks for that, guys. Also, Lenderhand's been helping us on this job as well. I mean, this is endorsement city, this video, isn't it? It's mental. So we've got Lenderhand in here and we've got Raytech Hotton. Oh my God. Anyway, let's have a look at what we're actually going to do in here today. Now, it's a funny system, this one, because how it's been piped up, we've got our cold feed coming down here and we've got our filling loop just up there. And obviously, as you can see, we've got our high pressure relief valve here. Now, what that was doing was going into a fanny trap, pretty much. I'm not going to go into why it's called that, but that's what it's bloody called, all right? Goes into a fanny trap, and also it went into a pea trap as well. So, you know, it wasn't right, okay? They had a ton dish and all that. And basically, this little thing is going to sort out that problem. So the problem you've got here is that they're worried about smell coming back up. They're also worried about if something blocks, is, you know, is there going to be water come back up the tun dish? And what this does is gets rid of loads of problems like that. What we'll do, have a very quick close look. From the outside, you just think, oh, well, I've actually got a really nice looking tun dish. Well, you have, I guess. But the thing is, we've got a small push down here. Now, what that means is when water comes down the tun dish from your discharge, that can land on this and the weight of the water will always push that spring down and water will go down then off into the system without any problem and get drained away. 
The thing is, as soon as that stops running, the spring will push back up like so and stop any water or smells coming back up from the waste system. So all in one pretty neat little bit, you've got you know a solution for lots of things. So well done, Rate it. What we're gonna do is show you how easy it is to fit one of these now. All you need to do is buy one of these and then buy a mechanical inch and a quarter coupling. So a McAlpine coupling or something like that and then quickly pipe it up, it's that easy. Right, so the first thing we've got to do is lovingly remove this old little trap down here. Glue is cheap, or so they say, leaks are expensive. So lap it on. So the important reg you need to think about here is that the next bend after the ton dish has to be over 300 mil away. And we've easily got that here. This is like 60 mil here. And obviously we're going into inch and a half pipe as well. So that should be okay. The next thing we've got to do is, as we said, the hot and only goes on to inch and a quarter uh, actual mechanical fitting. So a McAlpine fitting like this, not the kind of push fit ones. And then all we need to do is obviously put a little stub of inch and a quarter on there. And then we're ready to actually pop our ton dish on here like that. And then finally put the compression fitting on the bottom of our pot in here. Just pop that on there like so. Next thing to do, I'd obviously recommend, look, it's wobbling about, so what do you do? You're going to get some clips, pop some clips on. So there you go, you can see how easy it is to fit the actual top part. All we need to do now is just get our benders. We're going to get a bend, and we're going to bend that over nice and beautifully. <sighs> right, so there we go, we've got the hot one in here now. Uh, we've got our high pressure relief up here. We've got about one and a half bar on the back there. This heating system is fully inhibited at the moment, so I don't really want to let loads out to display how this works. But let's little, little dribble through now and get a close up, see exactly how this works. The fact that we've now got open air underneath, directly to the soil stack, so there's loads of pooey stink under there. Um, lovely. And, uh, and that means, you know, we need this, this plunger here to sit up straight away, to only let water in when we need to, even if it's just a dribble, uh, but also not let any smell back when it's not being used. So let's just let a little bit through. You know, that's like the most one of these is ever going to run. Boom. Sorted. Right then, guys, so there you go. You can see how easy it is for you to fit one of these hot ones from Raytech. Follow them on Twitter. Say hello to them. Russell is the man. He'll help you out. Uh, we also did a little review of them when we were at Installer Show. Uh, we haven't actually got around to editing yet, but you never know. We might pump that out around Christmas time in the lead up to next year's show. So as you can see, it's really easy to install. It solves a multiple amount of problems. You've obviously got your air brake. You've got your ton dish. You've got a safe place to get rid of your high pressure relief, even if it's hot. And also you've got the stopping of smells coming back up. So you don't need any of those fanny traps or any kind of trap whatsoever. This thing does it all in one. I mean, in this installation here, the boiler room is inaccessible by the general public. You need a key to be able to get in here and it's completely shut off. But if you've installed one of these over a counter or something like that, and you're worried about there being a splash here, they also make a guard as well. So if the water coming out of here is quite high, you can use that guard and then you won't get water splashed everywhere, but it'll also vent air and act as an air break. Thanks ever so much for watching today's plumberparts.co.uk video. I hope you found out how easy it is for you to fit a hotton on uh, some pipe work like that and have all those benefits of safe discharge uh, for your high pressure relief and also the smell of the stink pipe not coming back up, which is something we all hate, isn't it? <laughs> we, we don't want the smell of a stink pipe. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching again. Please do subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Obviously follow us on Twitter and Facebook where you can send through all the photos of your plumbing disasters and I'll see you in our next video. Thanks ever so much for watching and remember everyone to hold tight. Bye. <laughs> Plumberparts.co.uk, home of Find Your Plumber. Because as you're probably aware, push fit pipe changes, uh, put, because, because as you're probably aware, push fit pair. Because as you're probably aware, push fit pipe size, because as you're probably aware, push fit pipe sizes can change.